Mr. Genga. Ah. Trinity Infinity. Shoo do dibbity da do 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 do. Mike's music method. Hello, everybody. Come on in. We're doing yet another Coulter Wall song because of your lovely requests. Uh, sitting on the blacktop. Another cool Coulter Wall song. It's this difficulty, I'd say. Not super hard, as always. Boop. Uh, the Travis Picking playlist. Check those out if you're new to finger picking and you feel overwhelmed in this video. If not, dive right in. As always, timestamps are below for your uh, convenience, right? Jump ahead, go back and forth. There's slow run throughs at the end and use those to help you. And here we are. This song is, as usual, Coulter is tuned a whole step down. Someone just told me, someone commented below and said that Coulter in an interview said it's to preserve his guitar because he doesn't want to put that much tension. I don't know if he has a really old Martin or whatever he's playing on. So he down tunes it. But a lot of players, old old time players, down tune their guitar. It sounds really cool to be tuned everything a whole step down. It's a looser feel, a little more noodly. So he's tuned down a whole step in capo two. So he's actually in standard tuning. So if you don't want to tune your guitar down, you don't have to. Just play in standard. That's what I do in the video. And and here we are. Let's do it. And I said this before, but I'm gonna say it again. Thank you so much to my top donor. Rhino, dear friend Rhino, uh, has, has, has just gave an unbelievable contribution to Mike's Music Method to help me make these videos look prettier and to be able to make them quicker and, and better and just to greatly improve the quality of uh, my workflow and, and my life of making these videos. So everyone, you know, comment below and thank Rhino for sponsoring many, 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 many of these Mike's Music Method videos. So thank him, and then also thank the beautiful St. Jeff for the Holy Trinity. Amazing. Trinity Infinity. All right, onward with the song, though. Whew. Measure one. We are doing a G minor chord, I guess technically a G minor seven, but we're not voicing the whole thing because he's utilizing open on the third string. So I'm stacking it like this, third fret on the sixth string with my middle finger. Then my ring finger is third fret on the D string, the fourth string. Then my pinky is third fret on the B string, the second string. So we've got that. And our thumb, typical Travis picking, going back and forth between six and four. And the pattern we have is six, four, then it is six, two, and I'm hitting, using my middle finger to get that B string. Six, two, then thumb on four, and then my pointer finger hits the third string. So it's thumb, 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 and thumb, and thumb, 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 middle, thumb, index. Whew. Measure two, same idea, but we change the chord from that G7, and we have this descending line. Now we have a minor chord with a major six in there, and it's the same exact right hand pattern. But sorry, let me show you the chord shape. It is, now instead of all the threes, we still have the third fret here. But now I have my pointer finger playing the second fret on the D string or the fourth string. And then my pinky is still on the third fret of the B string. And the pinky pattern is exactly the same. It does it twice. So sorry, that's measure three. Because <laughs> measure one and two are the, the one where it's on the third fret. Then we descend just that one note on the fourth string. Same pattern. And then measure one, two, five, right? Five, we go down one more fret. Now you can stretch if you want with the pointer finger. It's the exact same right hand pattern. Or you can move all your fingers around and now do your ring finger on that third fret. For me, if you don't have a big hand, I know it's hard to do that stretch. This is way easier where you got your ring finger here, then your first finger, and then your pinky. And that might involve you switching. That's fine, it's not the end of the world. You can still get it to be pretty clean by, right, I'm just dropping the pointer finger there. And then I'm changing to my ring finger here and my pointer. And then measure seven, he descends again and you're just lifting the first finger and it's open. So you just have three on the low E string and the B string. They're both third fret. 
and that fourth string and the third string are now open. And I always talk, so that's the intro, and we'll keep going in a second, but I always mention the fingers I'm playing with, but by no means is should that be the set in stone, right? I try to give you fairly good technique, but remember, Merle Travis only uses his freaking pointer finger for all that crazy fast stuff. And if you watch Coulter play, he actually favors his middle finger. So for all of those notes, well, obviously he's using his thumb, but it's thumb, 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 middle, thumb, middle. He naturally just favors his middle finger. So if you're breaking the rules, that's okay. But I recommend getting them both good and strong because it gives you more versatility in what you want to play. We repeat measures one through six, and then we jump to nine. So let's go straight into nine where it starts getting fun. So we have our middle finger playing the third fret on the sixth string. Then I'm doing my ring and my pinky on the third fret on the B and the G string. So the second and third string are the third frets there. We have six with our thumb, and then he hits both of those. So it's a big jump there with the thumb. He goes from six, and he hits two and three together. And he kind of bends it. That was probably too much. Just a little bend and release. And then back to six. Then he lifts only the ring finger up. And does open on the third string. Thumb on the fourth. Then the middle finger hits the B string or the second fret, which is still that third fret. So thumb, heavy thumb on three and two. Then it's six. Open on the third string. Thumb on the fourth. And then second string and you want to remember you're lifting that middle finger only last minute you want that to ring lift last minute you want all those notes to be sustained as long as possible sounds cool huh thank you rhino for the gear here yeah measure 10 we're gonna keep our pinky on that third fret of the B string and we reach our index finger to the first fret of the A string, the fifth string. And we just have thumb there, and then a heavy thumb again on three and two. Sorry, I should shut my phone off when I do this. Thumb on five, heavy thumb on three and two. Then we walk up to, you can use your ring finger here or your middle to play the third fret on the fifth string, on the A string. And then it's just the fingers are, or the strings are five, two, four, three. It's thumb, middle, thumb, pointer for the second half of that measure. So that whole measure there is just thumb, heavy thumb on two and three. So we put the previous measure with it. Three, four. Whew. Measure 11 is exactly the same as nine, so we don't have to talk through it again. We go to 12. Now our first, we're keeping our pinky down still like we did before, but our first finger is going to the sixth string now, so I'm playing that note F. And I've got thumb on the sixth, then it jumps all the way to the third string, and then I'm immediately hitting the um, my pointer finger on the B string, the second string. So the strings are six, three, two, thumb, thumb, pointer, and then that F just goes up to a G. So the third fret on the sixth string, thumb, thumb, pointer same strings six three two so six three two six three two and if I'm going too fast it's only you know if you were here in the room with me I wish you were we could go as slow as need be but you have a play and a pause button right make sure you got your little shortcuts on the keyboard you know back arrow five seconds front arrow you can hit K to play play and pause it J jumps back L moves forward and remember no one gets this on the first go. I'm not expecting you to watch this video in real time. Play, pause, do it a hundred times. I'm not joking. Stop and do it a hundred times. That's what you have to do to practice to get good. Be deliberate. If this is already like, ooh, you're sweating a little bit, then stop. The first four measures, maybe. Maybe for those first four measures, you're working on them for two weeks. There is no shame in that. That is how you get better. Okay, so watch these slow. Watch them a hundred times. Hit that back arrow 50 times in a row. Play with me again and again. And I promise, um, and I should always, the timestamps in these videos, look down below. The timestamps are your best friend. 
If you feel like this song isn't too hard for you, just jump to the end where I'm doing slow run-throughs and you can read your tab while listening to me, follow along nice and slow, and maybe that's more your skill level. Um, but if you're more of a beginner, then you know, keep watching these again and again until you get it. All right, I'll shut up, let's keep going. 13 and 14 are the same as nine and 10. So we go to measure 15 here, which he switches it up a little bit. I botched it. <laughs> I can't. My ring finger won't cooperate with me today. But anyways, we're doing thumb on six, then heavy thumb as usual on three and two. And then we got a cool hammer on. He's hammering open to three on the fourth string. And if you miss it, that's okay, because I've just missed it three times in a row. So we got our thumb open to three on the D string, and then thumb again on the open on the third string, the G string. And then I'm hitting, using my pointer finger to hit the second string, the B string. And remember, our pinky's still down on that third fret there. So open to three, open three. So the whole measure, three, four. into the next measure here, 13, 14, measure 16. So we go to the C, the third fret of the fifth string. And I'm, I'm just brushing up, so I'm hitting that A string, and then I'm brushing on the second and the third string, my pinky's still down. Then we go to the first fret on the fifth string, and then the and B there is open on the fourth string. So third fret, brush up, then that's the fifth string. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, third fret, brush up, then the first fret, and then I'm using my pointer finger to hit just open on the fourth string, the D string, and then we go down to the G, third fret, sixth string, and then fourth string open. So the whole measure there, three, four, Seventeen is just a little breather before he starts singing, and it's just that G chord going from six to four, six to four. That's it. Play that through, nice and slow. I know you can get it. Again, if, if once you feel good about it, go to the timestamp below. There'll be all the slow run-throughs at the end of the video. But now that you're ready, let's go on to the verse. It's very similar to the intro, so don't panic. You you probably already got it down. Let's play through here from eighteen. Very similar to what we saw. Come on six, bend those two third frets. Back to the sixth string. And then and on the third string, which is open. So I'm only lifting my ring finger there. Lift the ring. And so the ending there is six, three, four, thumb, pointer, thumb. So the whole measure, thumb, 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 pointer, thumb. You gotta lift that ring to get it open. That's it. And then we saw this kind of idea before. First fret on the A string to open on the third string. Third fret on the A string to open on the G string again. That's it, easy enough. Back to the same idea we just saw. Now I didn't write the bend in the tab. All my tabs are free to download. Mike'smusicmethod.com. Go download the tab, print it out so you can follow along with this video. It makes it so much easier. Uh, so that's that's the same thing. I didn't write the bend in, but just know every time you're hitting those threes, he's got that like little flavor, right? A little bluesy flavor, a little slight bend on it. And then measure 21, we've seen this before, but it's simplified. We have that low F, first fret, E string. So sixth string to open G. Then we do the third string to open G. And then immediately he hits the second string where my pinky is still kind of locked down there. So thumb, 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 and Let's keep going, then we got measure 22. That's the same what we just saw a bunch of times. And then this is a repeat here as well. And 21, 2, 3, 4 is very similar, but a little different. Thumb, heavy thumb, bend. And then here we have that hammer on that we saw before. Open it, I missed it again. No, I love you, finger, you're okay. Oh, I made an indentation on it. Ah, I bit it too hard. I've been hanging out with my 20 month, 20 month old too much. Uh, so we got the hammer on on the fourth string, open to three. I, I just missed it again. <laughs> and then our thumb hits open on that third string. 
So that's all the thumb. Thumb's doing the hammer on on the fourth string, open to three. And then the thumb's hitting the third string, open. And we'll end this little verse here. Let's keep going, we're doing so well. This is a fun little walk. So we have third fret on the fifth string, and then immediately open on the fourth. And I'm doing thumb pointer, and then I go down to the first fret on that A string and do the same thing, thumb pointer. Then the thumb hits the G. So work on that walk for a minute. And remember, I, I, I talk about this in a lot of videos, I'm not really, giving you pointers on the palm mute. I'm playing all this stuff really clean so you guys can hear it. But of course, there's a lot of heavy palm muting, um, especially in this Coulter Wall stuff. Um, it, it just gives it that kind of gritty sound. And and the fact that he's down tuned with the capo on the second fret, right? He's down a whole step. So then his strings are even looser and even more like rattly and grungy, which is cool. So let's keep going. 26 we've seen before. Here he does hit that middle finger on the end on the second string. And we've seen this one before. Thumb, heavy thumb, right? That first fret and then the heavy thumb. Then we go to the C and it's five, two, four, three. Five, two, four, three. And then here's that hammer on part again. And then I don't know if this is different. I don't think so. Fifth string, we brush up. First fret, sorry. Uh, what's the rhythm here? Oh yeah, so it's thumb, pointer, brushes there, and then thumb, pointer, just on the D string. And then it ends just on that G, six to four. Yeah, I know it was a lot, but not really, right? It's, I, I believe so, right, right, right? I think it's a lot of repeated material. Again, if I rushed it, just click back. But I think you're with me. I think we're doing well. We're walking the blacktop together. Let's run through that first stanza with the words for all you singers so you can kind of catch the phrasing. I'll go nice and slow. This one's not too hard to me. Like I didn't have to practice it slowly. It seems so somewhat obvious, like how he's singing to it. So from the top of the verse, 17, three, four. Sunshine beating on the good times, moonlight raising from the grave, string band playing worn out, honky tonk, pretty young girl going dancing in the rain. I think I messed up the ending part. Pretty young thing going dancing in the rain. He repeats the second verse, different words, right? It's the high heel lady part. Uh, that's all the same. And then we go in the tab to the second ending, which is, I don't know, is it the same? Slightly different. Yeah, so whatever measure that is. Uh, 32, very similar. We got that third fret on the A string to open on the D, then the first fret to open, then down to the G, which we saw. Then he just has a heavy thumb there without an and beat, and we jump into the chorus. Thank you, Rhino, for all the gear, yeah. Already on to the chorus, y'all. Important note here. There's, there's many things happening in this chorus. There's a harmony. There's actually two other Coulter singing, one lower, one higher. So big voice harmony. And then there's that, which is like a... I don't know, I'd have to pay attention again. I don't know if it's just a lead guitar or a slide guitar, but there's another guitar playing that. So I had to watch him live because I couldn't really hear what his acoustic was doing. He is not playing that main part. So here's actually what he's playing in the tab on 32. And uh, it's a G chord, third uh, <laughs> ring fingers on the third fret here. Then I've got, sorry, my middle finger. Then I got my ring finger on the B string, third fret and my pinky's on the high E, third fret. So all third frets again. Thumb on six, then I'm pinching four and one. I'm doing it with my thumb and middle finger. Then I'm pinching six and two with my thumb and pointer, and then immediately hitting the first string right afterwards. So 
six, four and one, six and two, immediately hit one, and then the thumb goes along to the fourth string. Hey, darling. Now you'll notice what I'm singing is not, it's not this. Hey, darling, it's hey, darling. And that's what that other guitar is doing up high. Uh, whatever it is. Yeah, I don't know if it's an octave higher. I think it is the same octave. So if you're playing solo guitar without that other cool lick in there, I would probably do it this other way. And so if you scroll down in the tab, excuse me for one moment, to measure 61, 62, 63, that's kind of what I would recommend you play because in the recording, you're hearing that lead guitar way higher. It's a little trickier to play because you have to do a little more back and forth. Both sound good. I kind of prefer it going to the actual G7 note instead of going to the D, you go to the F. So here's how to play it that way. Six, now you can just use your ring finger like you're playing a normal G chord. Six, then pinching uh, four and one. And then I'm pinching six and one, but now my first fret is going to that note F. So it's a G7 chord there. But then you immediately have to put the pinky back down on the third fret. So that melody is three, one, three, six alone, pinch, pinch again on the first fret, and then immediately back to the third fret, and the thumb is on four. So note that that's gonna happen a bunch during the chorus. So pick one, which one do you think sounds better? Hey, darling. That's the note you're actually singing, or you can play the other note and just sing a harmony with that. Hey, darling. Up to you. Measure 34 is cool. He does this B flat shape, uh, which we've seen before. First fret there on the fifth string, and then third fret on the B string. And we have thumb, and then heavy thumb hitting three and two at the same time. And that pinky slides up. Again, if you want, I said again, I haven't explained this yet, <laughs> but there's different fingering. You can do your ring finger or your pinky. For me, it's way easier not to bend my wrist if I use my pinky. And I do have unbelievable left hand pinky strength. Yeah, I know everyone's not superhuman like I am, so feel free to use your ring finger. But we have that. Thumb on five, heavy thumb on two and three. That pinky slides up. Now my index finger's on the third fret. And then I do the thumb on four. to that hey darling thing however you want to play it hey darling and then we just do first fret open on the third then third fret open on the third again and then back to the hey darling again now we're in measure 38 he doesn't do the slide here sometimes he does but this time he does not so he just does first fret and then open on the third string and then you, you don't have to move your whole hand you could if you want but he's just doing fifth string, fourth string. Oops. So you can do it that way and just move that finger. Doesn't, I played it wrong there, sorry. But you get the idea. You can slide your hand or just use your ring finger to play that third fret. And then he doesn't do it again, right? We got the, hey darling, sleeping on the blacktop. Hey darling, running through the trees, honey. Hey darling, leaving for the next town. And then here on measure 39, Lesson My Sense catches up with me. Lesson My Sense catches up with me. And we've seen these measures before in the verse, really slow, but you get the idea. Put that hammer on. That walk down. So I will note something in measure 40 there. After that walk down, that three, open, one, open, I'm jumping to put my middle finger down on that third fret. So I can still have these two fingers free to do those threes. If you haven't figured that out yet, that's how I'm fingering it there. Middle finger. And then 41 we've seen before. We've seen all of this before. Yeah, so we're in measure 45. Sorry, I gotta scroll here. I should move the screen closer. That's the whole chorus. I think you guys get it. Fairly easy to sing with. Hey, darling. Right, you're just matching the melody there. Hey, darling. And then here it's easy. Uh, 
what's the first one again? Sleeping on the black top. Sleeping on the black top. That's the whole idea that whole time. Let's actually sing 39 really quick so that I know that you can hone it, lock it in. Three, four. Lesson my sense catches up with me. And you might have to go slow a whole bunch to know where all those different syllable beats are with the guitar. Lesson my sense catches up with me. Do that slow and a bunch until you feel really confident about it. Yeah, y'all, we're like so close to being done already. So we have a verse two, it goes all the way, uh, well just verse two with the second ending. And then we go to the chorus again, all the way to 40. And then after you do all that, you're jumping here to the tab, which is 48. And this is where he, he does this in, instrumental chorus. It's still the chorus, basically, uh, with that the harmonica, the annoying one note harmonica uh, part. It's actually not that annoying, it's okay. Bob Dylan plays some annoying harmonica. I'd rather have one note than obnoxiously loud Bob Dylan too many notes. So thank you, Coulter, for sparing us all your god-awful harmonica playing. I, I don't even know if Coulter plays a harmonica, but thank you for not making it obnoxious. I don't know if anyone else had, had this experience where you put on one of the first three Dylan records in the car on a road trip. Terrible idea. You're on the road. You can't hear the, gu the guitar over the road noise. So you just hear his voice, which is like bad enough. You're like, ugh. You know, I guess, oh, sure. I guess I'll pay more attention to the lyrics, see if I get something out of it this listen, because I can't hear his finger picking. And then in comes that harmonica solo, you know, almost 20 decibels louder than the voice, you know, 40 louder than the guitar, and, it, and his playing is awful. Anyway, we're at measure 48 here. little bit different than the chorus and it, it to me it doesn't sound right unless it's tuned lower I, I don't know why I'm obsessing about it but that uh, you you be the judge that open on the second string it's just not as gritty unless you're down tuned but we are gonna do these double threes on the E string and the B string so I got pinky ring finger and middle six alone pinching six and sorry pinching three and one here so that thumb goes all the way to the third string all the way string again with our thumb and I'm doing the second string but it's open so I lift that ring finger six three and one six and two one alone then three and then two is open so you gotta lift that ring finger at the end there and that open sounds weird I swear that's what he's playing jangly and palm muted and he's just hitting that open to get to the next chord which is that one and three idea which we've seen before thumb on five and heavy thumb and he slides it up and then it is a little different here he's hitting thumb middle so five two four three thumb middle thumb pointer same idea here again same slide thumb heavy thumb and a slide and it's just thumb on five thumb on three and then back to that same thing again 52 is exactly the same we don't need to play it and then 53 is exactly the same as 49 so you get all that and then we i'm pretty sure we've seen all this stuff before as well 54 you got back to the fingering with your middle finger there Heavy thumb, hammer on. Five, three, five, five, four, six, four. All the same. Whew, only one tiny little part. So then we have another verse, and then he does a double chorus. And there's nothing new, all the same material that you've learned already. And then he goes back to the intro descending part. It's cool that the song has this intro that's unrelated to any of the singing parts. It's kind of nice. And then it goes to open and we run through all that. But then the last time, instead of going all the way down to the open, we have this new material. 
which is uh, measure 60. I'm kind of playing this wrong, get the idea. So instead of lifting it to the open, then measure 7 is interrupted here with uh, 60, and it's just... That's not new material, we've seen that in the song before. And that's it, and the song is over. Holy guacamole, spicy jalapenos. You did it. Shake my hand, you're a super genius. You're picking like Coulter Wall. Sorry, I still have a head cold. My next few videos are gonna be head cold videos. But we did it, guys. God bless you, feel good, be proud of yourself. You're doing amazing things with these God-given fingers that you have, and it takes time and perseverance and all that stuff. So enjoy your victory, but also be grateful for, for these gifts, for your guitar, for our fingers, and the pleasures uh, of, of music that it brings to our ears and our hearts. And that's it, and go hug someone, okay? Look it, the Trinity's right there with us the whole time, the whole time. Trinity infinity, all right? <laughs> Later, goodbye. Slow run-throughs of the whole tune. We're gonna do it nice and slow. Your tabs are all free, so print them out. Mike'sMusicMethod.com. Follow along. Let's go from the top. Two, three, four. Right there, I switch the way I'm fingering the G chord so that I can descend a little bit easier. some liberty with this picking though, so it repeats. chorus and then let's go to the instrumental one sorry i'm talking right up in the microphone so loudly so we'll go from measure 48 to the end of the song how about that one two three four another verse and a double chorus and the end of the song. Ha. Thank you for the gear, Ido. <laughs>